So I was minding my own business, clearing out some enemies, trying to get around and get collect up all the grass on my island for plant twine. And I got blown up real good by a couple of creepers. So when you die, you get this item in my inventory there, the death compass, which will point you towards where your grave is and a grave's key. So you just, once you get to your grave, you get, just push right click and then you will get all of your items back. Uh, typically in the order that they were in, in your inventory, except that I had gathered some other things which kind of interfered in them there. So that is exactly what happens when you die. Um, you don't lose any of your experience, but you will lose nutrition. So the nutrition mod is in the pack. You access it by pushing N, and as you eat food, it will be in some different categories here. So we can see here, um, meat is generally protein. Um, same with the all the meat stuff will be protein. Vegetables will be vegetable, obviously grain which you have to process to make bread and then fruit which will be apples and uh, there's some berries in the game as well so i will just continue along around the world here break up all the plant twine that i can because i want to stop the hostile mobs on my own island here so i'm going to make as many totem torches as I can so that I can stop the spawns so we'll be back once I've gathered up all of that all right we're back here another night has fallen on us so some work to be done inside the base um, one of the only the only other use that you have for your death compass after you've recovered your grave is that you can put it on the apparently Okay, and if you hover over something in our inventory and push U for uses, we can say that it's supposed to grind down on the grindstone, but maybe that's only the horse version. So when we get the horse version, maybe we can do that. So I thought we could put that down for a little bit of extra bone meal, but apparently not. So I'm just going to put it up here beside my trumpet. Um, I broke down the two olive trees that I had out there. I didn't grab the wood just yet, but the olives that they drop will give us a little bit of fruit. Um, not very much, but it is something. And the only other use for them is to make olive oil, which I don't think we need um, at all. Maybe, maybe not. Not 100% sure. So, as I mentioned before, we've got all our plant twine. So I'm going to not use all of it, but we can make, I don't know, six or eight more totemic torches while we're in here for the night. And then uh, to, can get some of that uh, nasty area lit up. Oh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? So, uh, let's leave four back. So remember we need to light all these torches before we can make the totem torches. And we will just work on getting all these put together here. So that tomorrow during the daytime, when it's safer out there again, we can hopefully make most of the area around my base here um, mob without any mob spawns, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. So I took a look at the advancements and a couple of things that we want to work towards on this episode. I marked out over here, JEI bookmarks. So if we hover over an item anywhere and we hit A, which says there, we can put it in our bookmarks over here. And then it's just always there, despite what we might be searching for on our search bar. And then to get it off of there, you just hit A again. So before we use up all of our bones to make bone meal to get more plant twine, I do want to get some shears because I know these will be handy to have um, so that um, we can use these on chickens to get 
um, extra feathers. We can use it on grass because we'll need that for the totemic mod. And the other thing shears can get us is the um, wool off of the sheeps if we find that getting on other islands. So speaking of other islands, to get there we need to make a volar kite. To make a volar kite we'll put three lily pads with some sticks and some plant twine down and then that will give us our kite. So we'll have to go out to that pond and collect up some of those collect up some of those lily pads during the day tomorrow. And then with all of that random stuff I was killing, I ended up with a bunch of random meat. So I just uh, cooked all of that up on the grill. So there we go. Now we've got some shears. I'm just going to put these away for now because we're not using them. And as well, uh, the volar kite. So that takes two and two sticks so we'll put that these there and uh, are you down there already must be I just can't see it ah oh, there we go and I'll just put that last piece of plant twine away for now and then we'll have to go get three lily pads I've got lots of food now, so I'm not too afraid of doing some fighting. So let's come on out here and see if there's anything waiting to kill us. No. So we'll just pop on over here. Grab the lily pads. Oh, here comes the creeper. What am I getting hit by? Oh, these guys. Gosh darn, I hate these mobs. Ugh. Get into the base. No! Okay, that was hairy. Almost lost my life, but here we go. We can eat up some of these olives and now they've given us an effect. Nausea. Yeesh. So I guess that's a lesson learned. Don't eat <laughs> the olives especially while you're out and about because that will really throw you off. Sorry for all those who are affected by that but I am just going to eat up a lot of these while we heal up down here. So we'll be back when all that's done. Alright, daytime again. Oh, here we have a cursed creeper. When that blows up, it will create a lingering effect. I, some of them do different things, so I'm not 100% sure what the different colors do. Um, some of them will teleport you, some of them will poison you, I think. What other nasties do we have out here? Ah, first wild dog of the playthrough. So that gives us wild dog pelt boots, but that's not something that's going to be super handy in the skyblock playthrough, I don't think. Uh, they're really amazing in SevTech Ages originally, but um, that's where you can run around really fast all over the place. But that's not going to work, or that's not going to be so relevant here in the Sky Island type of playthrough. So uh, now that we've got our totem torches, let's just see if we can eliminate as much of this yellow X's as I can. Mm. So I'll be back after I've placed all these around in as optimally as spots as I can. Ah. Uh, so with these guys, the trick is is to be circling around them so their shots can't get you. 
There, that's the trick for taking out those guys. Be back in a few. All right, so we got all of my torches placed around. Still obviously need to make a lot more, and I'm going to obviously need the bone meal to do that. So we'll be making up some bone meal and doing that kind of grindy stuff off camera and getting rid of all of the spawning spots as I can. But for now, we are about to make our kite and go fly it. So... We're just going to take a look around at the different islands that I got. Now I'm kind of looking off to the edges of the screen because then I can see islands a little bit better because you can see here if I look at that one directly, I really can't see what's on it. But if I turn to the side, I can see that, oh yeah, that's just a regular forest type biome there. Uh, there's a jungle. That's actually one of the ones I really wanted to see. Uh, for reasons which I will explain here. So I want to make the fluid bladder because this is our route to get to leather. To make the fluid bladder we need brown dye powder. Now the major ways to make this is to combine orange dye powder with black dye powder or grinding up different kinds of things. So tumbleweeds, manzanilla bushes, and then some of the Tur some of the Ferdinand's uh, mushrooms, turkey tails. Um, but at a jungle biome, we can get cocoa beans. Cocoa beans can be turned into cocoa powder, which we can ground, grind down into brown dye powder. So that's the reason why I'm happy to see the jungle. Hopefully we have some cocoa on the uh, trees over there. There's a swamp-ish biome and that's got the druid circle which will come in handy for getting to the between lands in age two. Uh, there's a village. Village is extremely important because we will need to go there to get a hopefully get a map. Um, our antique atlas. And then oh Oops, like, yeah, some leftovers from an explosion there. Oh, did this grass regrow or did I just miss that? Not too sure. At any rate, let's go make our volar kite and take a trip. and get our inventory sorted. Before I go on this flight, I am definitely going to be emptying out most of my inventory because if we die while we're out and about, it might be hard to get back. So let's just get all this. I'm up to four string now, not too bad. Nine bones, which is handy. Some more of that raw dog meat. There we go. Wood. Uh, plant fiber, which I definitely want to leave behind here. Oh, that was twine. Uh, the wild dog pelts. There we go. A little bit of food. And let's go take a quick trip. Actually, let's eat this food and heal up. So where do I want to go first? Well, the jungle definitely is one. And then that, um, I do want to check out the village island. So we'll go to the village island first and then hopefully pop back this way to go to the jungle. So. I'm going to rise up as high as I can for takeoff here because there are updrafts in the um, in between the islands but they're not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination so I'll start as high as I can and we'll make our way over there so right click and that'll open up the volar kite and we see we hit an updraft there which got us up a little bit higher and then if we hit back or S on the keyboard, then we can slow ourselves down. And I think I'm over top of that, so I'm just going to hit left shift and drop into the water. There's a leather worker. Um, 
Oh, that's really oh, sheep pelts for leather. That's still a pretty handy trade right there. That'll if we get some sheep somewhere, that'll come in super handy for sure. Oh, chickens! I sh if I had my shears, then I could get some of the feathers that I need. Because hopefully that there is a cartographer in here, which is the uh, villager that we need to. Oh, there's a butcher. Bones for pork chops, carrots for beef. Oh, that's a good trade there because we can grow lots of um, what do you call it? Sugar cane pretty easily. What's this? What's in here? Black bear pelt, broken spear, and a regular spear. Okay. Spears are handy, but not... Oh, and there's sheep on this island, too. You know the one thing that's not on this island? The cartographer. Yeah, two butchers and a leather worker. Unfortunate, but nothing we can do about the luck factor there. Oh. Oh, and I just broke my axe. That's bad luck. Let's get the heck out of here and back to my island. I don't want to be here at night, really. Which one's mine now? It was higher, and I think that's it there. Don't hurt the chickens. There's a blacksmith, but there's no um, chests in the mod, so we don't have to worry about that. Just Dark Oast would disable all the chests. There's a feather, but I'm not going down there for that just right now. So cross our fingers and hope that we can get back in one go. So we hit a nice updraft there. And if not, I think we can land in this water and just swim our way to the top. So yes, I fell out of the water, but I had my boulder kite on still, so I was able to not fall into the void. And so we'll just head this way, and then we'll have to turn back around again. Nice, got another updraft. So just these things are not very maneuverable at all, so you just have to be aware of that while you're flying around. Hopefully we grab another updraft and we don't have to rely on trying to swim our way onto the island. And that was great. So there we go. So found the village, but unfortunately the village was mostly useless. Um, not what I wanted out of the village, that's for sure. I'll grab some of this horse meat so that I can heal up. And make ourselves another axe. Sorry about the owl spawn. I do kind of like the owl sounds, otherwise I would go and kill them. Because uh, it could be, I'm sure it can be annoying for some people. So that's it for this episode. The next one we will fly over to the jungle and see if we can't get some cocoa bean. Maybe I'll do all that kind of stuff off camera because flying is a real crapshoot in this game and you can get screwed over pretty bad. So we'll do some things off camera and I'll be back uh, to do a bunch of crafting and advancements with you guys on the next one. Take care.